there's a, a long history of GA at UCD as a university and a college in the first instance, but there's also a huge uh, connection and partnership with the GA in general. So uh, when the GA asked us to uh, consider hosting this uh, uh, centenary event, uh, we were only too glad uh, to do it. The standard of play in these uh, uh, global settings are improving all the time. And uh, uh, not only those that are leaving Ireland to work and live in Kuala Lumpur and Shanghai and uh, Singapore and places like that, the natives to those um, countries and cities that have taken up the game, their standards are improving all the time as well. So the competition here was very positively reflective of a growing competency and an improvement. South Africans are very impressive. They're uh, naturally gifted athletes and they, they adapt to this game of football very, very well. Mark Murphy um, played with Michael Cusick there in Sydney, originally from Derlin in County Fermanagh. For most states, we're from Queensland, uh, New South Wales, Victoria, South Australia and there's a uh, fellow from New Zealand as well. A great honour, you know, representing you know, Australasia over here and, and, and the lads, it's the 13, 13 lads that came. And, um, it was great to get a bit of silverware at the end of the week. Now we would obviously like to play in the Crow Park, which was the, the you know the main thing. But unfortunately, it wasn't to be. But we we you know got something for the week anyway, which is good. My name's Ariane Parcel. I'm from Birmingham, England, and we're over playing with the Team Britain. I've played Camogie since a young age and served the whole of the team really and we were given the opportunity from uh, the Britain County Board to come over and play against the Native American team. They wanted two native teams playing against each other. I was uh, about 10 years old when I started. A family friend of mine, Mick O'Hare, he uh, said to me you should come along training. My, my auntie Noreen, she played for Kerry. Uh, Camogie team so it kind of it had been in the family so I thought why not I need to get involved and give it a go and I haven't looked back since played ever since. This is the best experience ever. James Kennedy uh, from Middle East GA I'm the, the tour manager this year of, of the trip. We've been very lucky that we've got a very successful Middle East League now running for the last six years uh, and those players that we wanted to, to get here shone throughout that league so it made the picking process a little easier than probably would have done in the past. Nine years ago we had nine teams playing in the league, this season we had 72 teams and next season it looks like it'll be 82 seasons or 82 teams so it's grown you know, fantastically well over the last six years. I would say 40 to 50% of our ladies are non-Irish players and about 25% of our men. So it's growing all the time in the Middle East. And we've seen that here today with our international ladies team. And we've got uh, two non-Irish teams here in the, in the men's as well. One of the, the big successes for us in the Middle East is we've now introduced Gaelic games into the schools right across the region. So we're hitting uh, all international, all nationalities from around the world in the schools and a, local, a lot of the local Emiratis, Bahrainis, Kuwaitis, Omanis and that's been very well received by the, the sports ministries in those countries. So GA is growing and growing in the Middle East and we're delighted with what, what's been happening there at the moment. My name is Keith O'Leary. I'm with the South African Gales based out of Johannesburg and I'm originally from Kerry. So there's only a few Irish involved and then there's a lot of locals who really took to the game, really seem to enjoy it and uh, they're going well. I think the tournament has been fantastic. Uh, I was shocked myself at the level of participation from the non-Irish. I think it's, it's a real eye-opener for me and probably a lot of people in Ireland and uh, I think the games are going to go from strength to strength abroad. Uh, my name is Ryan Sagnero. I'm a member of the Aero Gaelic Football Club from San Francisco, California. The GA scene back in San Francisco is very competitive. Uh, there's three different divisions. Um, so we also have a lot of J1ers who come over in the summertime and, and play. So that also helps, you know, get us better. A few of my friends actually, you know, there are a lot of you know, Irish Americans back home and they kind of recruited me to come out. I'm, I'm a taller guy, so they wanted to, uh, you know, have a little bit more athleticism on the team and, and hopefully I, you know, I could provide that. My name is Saad Marahbi. I'm from um, Oman, Sultanate of Oman, and my team name is Oman GAA team. I can't describe my feeling. We've been working hard for the last three months till now and we've we, uh, we went through everything, we went through the pain, we went through the fighting, we went through everything, all the things that you, you can't even imagine to come here and be here on this, uh, on this games and participate. Now we got something, we got this shield. I don't know how to tell you, but it's really unbelievable feeling. South Africa, they was really fighting for to win this shield, but we did, try, uh, we did our best. 
we keep on mind uh, we kept in our mind always what, what we are representing we are representing our country we came all the way it means a lot because everyone in Oman everyone when everyone is uh, actually they are cheering for us they are waiting for us to win something they keep in touch with us and asking us what happened how it goes how's the matches how are you feeling how's everything so we are really really proud of this what we got today